Hey, Tuesday night. Yes, we're catching up. We're going to get there. We're nearly done. Um, I wanted to talk tonight about career changes. So I had this conversation with, this actually wasn't scheduled, so I snuck this one in. I had this conversation with a friend today who's contemplating a fairly massive career change. Like black and white, chalk and cheese kind of big difference. And they was saying, well, is it really weird? Is it odd? Like, are people going to think I'm crazy? How is the world going to react? Am I stupid to think I could do this? Um, but I'm really not happy doing this. And I'm kind of thinking I'm, I'm falling in love with this as a bit of a side hustle. How can I make the change without feeling like a lunatic, I guess, or looking like a lunatic? Because despite what we all try and do, a lot of the time we still go, oh, God, what are people going to think about me? Oh, what's their opinion? Blah, 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 blah. So we want to stop that stuff. And my answer to him and my answer to you guys and to anyone contemplating it is if something feels right, do it. Like, do it. They've done the right thing. Like, they've been doing it as a little bit of a side hustle and found that they really enjoy it. I've spoken to you before in a live about when is the right time to make a career change and how to do that confidently. And a lot of people do go by the adage of, you know, leap and the net will appear. Other people like me are a bit, a bit more kind of safety cautious and we like to have everything in a row before we make any changes. Sometimes never make changes. Um, but really like bugger what other people think really bugger what other people think. And one of the interesting things is, is you might look at, and I've had this conversation a few times recently, you might look at all of your different career changes through life. So let's go through mine, for example. Okay. So professional singer, uh, lots of jobs in retail and restaurant stuff, um, talking to people, you know, face to face. Then I moved into the number world, so accounting and then business coaching and the business coaching moved me into more life coaching and then that moved me into more speaking and then that's kind of got me to this beautiful blissful spot where I love, where I get to blend my coaching and my deep love of helping people with my business acumen and that entertainment edge. So I sing on stages and I can kind of blend them all. And to me, that's just perfect. But if you looked at that on a piece of paper, you'd be like, this lady's a bit cuckoo. What on earth has she been doing? And it's the same for so many people. You might start life as a, your business life as a wedding planner. And you might end up as a stockbroker. But wedding planning got you meeting lots and lots of fascinating people and learning more about the share market and money and da 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 and you slotted into it through networking and found you found you loved it. There is no straight career path. Gone are the days where you got a work experience in year 10 and then you got a university when you finish school and then you get a job and then they give you a watch 50 years later. That doesn't happen anymore. So no door you open is a door to be missed. Every door has a reason. And that reason may merely be, I shouldn't say merely, that reason could be to give you a little bit more confidence. That reason could be to give you a little bit more courage to go after your dreams. That reason could be to put you in situations where you need to develop charisma. That reason could be you get more communication skills. That reason could be that's where you meet your wife. Who knows what the reasons are? But no career change, if you want to do it, not a career change because someone else tells you to do it, no career change is a bad idea in my book. It really, really, really isn't. And with everything that's going on in the world and around us, we have to grab onto those opportunities and do the things we want to do and take those chances. So to all of you guys, whether it's a side hustle or a jump, don't worry about it. You'll look back at your life, whether it's on your deathbed or your 70th birthday, your 90th birthday, your 100th birthday and go, I know why I got that job as a swimming pool cleaner. 
that's how I met the woman that owned the adoption agency. You know, there's always a reason. There's always a reason. Happy Tuesday night, guys, and I will see you all tomorrow for the final two. Can't believe it. There's been more, but anyway. It's a whole other story. I'll do a blank blog post on how I stuff that one up. Have a great night and stay well and make a change.